Welcome to ATVRiders.com's coverage of the 2009 AMA ATV Motocross Nationals. We're off to Walnut, Illinois this weekend for round five at Sunset Ridge Motocross. The track crew did a great job getting everything ready for moto number one. The 32nd car was sideways and the pros rev it up in anticipation for the first gate drop of the day in the pro class. Screaming up the inside was the number 9 Monster MG Kawasaki of Josh Coomer with Chad Wien and Doug Gus right behind him. The obstacles on the track were big and diverse with everything from deep whoops to big triples testing the rider's skills and quad setups. It was the Kawasaki show early in the moto with Josh Creamer running in first and Chad Wien running in second. Creamer was looking very strong, but Chad Wien would end up getting around him for the top spot. Behind the top two, it was Suzuki's Doug Gus, followed by Warner Can-Am's Cody Miller and the MotorWorks Can-Am of Jeremy Lawson. Chad Wiener was out front, making it look easy, followed by Josh Creamer, Doug Gust, and Jeremy Lawson, who had moved up into the third spot, passing Cody Miller. There's Josh Creamer and Jeremy Lawson battling it out for the second spot. With two laps to go, it was all Chad Wien in first, and Jeremy Lawson had managed to get around Josh Creamer for second. The checkers would go to the green machine of Chad Wien who put in a flawlessly solid first moto here at Sunset Ridge with Lawson, Creamer, and Gus right behind him. Chad had an ear-to-ear -ear grin on his face because he knew he was halfway to bring in the overall here at his home track. Here's your moto number one results. I'm here with Doug Gus. Doug, you just finished fourth. You got a great start and you held it. Yeah, my uh, rock star Makita Suzuki Oshimura LTR 450 brought me to the front today and uh, came out third and I rode as strong as I could, uh, ended up fourth, but uh, I'm happy with that finish, best I did all year. You know, there for a while you were battling with Jeremy Lawson. Yeah, that was tough, man. He was going good. I was holding him off for a little bit, but he just had a little more than me. How's it feel being out here this weekend without Dustin Wimmer here? Uh, it feels weird, you know, I, I've been in his shoes before. And I know how he's feeling and um, it sucks, so uh, uh, hopefully he uh, heals up fast and can get back. Here with Kawasaki's Josh Kramer. Josh, you grabbed that whole shot and pulled out a uh, top three finish. Yeah, everything worked really well coming off the line. I timed the gate perfect and uh, Pro Circuit Motor pulled me right down the start. And uh, we held the lead now, f I don't know, probably half the race or so, and Weenan ended up getting his way by me through a whoop section, and I, uh, I got passed by Lawson, I passed him back, and stupid me, I let him back by in the same spot, but uh, I couldn't retaliate, so I ended up having to f settle for third, but uh, we could take third that moto, just go back out and uh, get the W this next one. I'm here with MotorWorks Can-Am, Jeremy Lawson. Jeremy, you came out and scored a second place finish in that first moto, but you definitely had to earn it. You had some battles out there, especially with Josh Creamer. Yeah, yeah, I just come out, I pulled the wheels on the, on the start, and I, I got pinched off, so I just ducked in behind uh, my teammate Frenchie and uh, ended up taking the inside and ended up with a, I don't know, six or something out of the start. And, uh, just started following some lines and uh, Cody Miller had some good lines and I was just following him and he ended up getting tired and uh, got around him and Doug and a couple other people and then finally I got the creamer and you know we, we were getting pretty tired by then and uh, just 
I got around him one time, but then he stuck. I, he stuck me in the next corner a little bit. So, but then the next lap, I I, I stuck it. So I, I didn't let him let him get by me again. So that was good. Got in the second, and uh, I'm happy with that. I couldn't believe it. I, I normally don't do too good in his rough stuff, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Here with Kawasaki's Chad Ween and Chad, you just came out, put on a great battle with your own teammate Josh Kramer and pulled out the win here at your hometown track. Yeah, yeah, he yanked out that started really good, Josh did, and um, you know, just we come out one two. I mean, we got a good race going, and uh, just watched some of the, some some of the lines he had going, and just waited patiently and made my move, and uh, just slowly started walking away from him and getting some space, and um, I, I kept a good eye on him back there, and. Um, you know, they, I had a really excellent race, I mean, exactly the way that I wanted it, and, um, you know, just able to run really, really consistent and really smooth, and, uh, you know, no better way to do it than today. You know, and especially all these fans out here, it seems like this is the weaning farm out here, everybody's cheering for you. How does that make you feel? Oh, real good. Uh, you know, got a lot of friends and family that came here, and along with all the other people that uh, came out to watch me, even though they might not even know me, and, uh, you know, just it's really, really great. Uh, day to come out here compared to last year and um, you know I hope we put on a good show for him for the second moto and uh, get that top spot.